Hey, what do you know? I can see my base from here. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Planet Crafter. Uh, as you can see, I have done a little bit of work around here since the last episode. Uh, as you can see on the top top right there, I have made some progress. Uh, what I've done is I've uh, gotten rid of the, the food growers here. I put some algae chests here so I can try to stock, start stockpiling the algae. And then what I've done is I've gone ahead and I set up uh, 12 food growers over here because I realized that eggplants are going to be one thing that we're going to need. And another one is going to be mushrooms. Um, I have gone in through that wreck over there to find some more seeds. I found some more eggplant seeds in there. Uh, what I did notice is uh, the main room that had the, the chip and the, the message screen. Uh, apparently behind one of those walls there was a storage crate I could have just disassembled. So that tells me that definitely once we get up to you know, run over here quickly on the big base it takes forever. I changed this area up a little bit too. Um, originally I had the panels here and I wanted to extend and I put the bio, this tier 2 bio dome over here so it's easier access. Now I just had it going around the corner over to here and then the large room over there. Put windows around it, all that stuff. I was going to do the floor but that's that's too much. We'll worry about that later. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, but for the unlocks there is actually one thing here we can unlock eventually and this is end game is a fusion energy cell now i do know i haven't haven't actually been confirmed on this but i i'm almost 100 percent certain that this thing is what's going to power those ships and unlock those doors that are in there to access the things that are inside what we will need at that point i don't know but uh that's a little ways to go and we get this pul pulsar quartz which i have absolutely no idea what it's for i'm guessing some sort of power source or something i will find out sooner or later uh we're going to be getting the tier 4 heater soon uh we're almost at that much oxygen already that's why i was crafting up the iridium rods and i want to start cranking up the heat so we can get the drill tier 4 drill going so we build up pressure Oh, that's what we need the crystal for. It's for this. So it just gets more power. And gas extractor soon, eventually, and all that fun stuff. Uh, that is going. What can we do while we wait? Uh, I actually want to build a second, a second biodome. Uh, I need a bacteria sample, fertilizer. I think I have enough of this. Uh, the fertilizer, I believe, was eggplant. I might actually want to move this uh, fertilizer, eggplant, algae, and sulfur. And I need two of them. I think I actually have everything. What do you know? I was prepared. Two, three, four, five, six. And I need eggplant. And I got one for food seeds and one for food. Now, I haven't actually harvested any eggplant yet, so we got six of them here. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I actually put these things over here so I don't have to listen to this because it's a to get a lot louder over here as uh, uh we're gonna be getting that tier those tier four heaters soon all right and uh there we go what well, would be nice if they had some sort of automation in the game like i'm not saying like full-on automation but uh you know what i mean like um food growers would automatically deposit into a chest or something like that i was looking for sulfur to sulfur and now we go we fire up the old bio lab run over here i've been looking too like look how much green we're starting to get around here there around here over there and wow this hill has actually changed quite a bit and we're getting close to moss level pretty soon and do one and two what else do i need for two bacteria sample more algae and water and i think i actually have all that if not i might have to go collect more oh well, that's not what i want to do uh, I'm going to get some more algae and water, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am ready. So we need two bacteria sample. One, and two. And then uh, I think all I need now is two super alloy and one sulfur. So, one sulfur and two super alloy. Wow. I just think that stuff used to be really hard to find, and now we can get it anytime we need. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, another biodome. I'm actually going to branch right off of here. Now, the only reason why I'm doing this is to increase the oxygen and the biomass. That's all. Just to increase our formation. I don't actually need the extra bark. 
So we're gonna do that. And the power didn't give up. So now we should be producing so much more oxygen. Uh, look at that, almost 9,000 now. So we're gonna be getting that tier 4 heater pretty quick. Uh, yep, pretty quick. And then now, once we start cranking up the heat, we can get the tier 4 drill, which will help build up the pressure more. Uh, probably get a few more flower spreaders. While we wait, let's go plant some more flowers, shall we? Uh, let's see here. Fertilizer. Maybe not. Uh, I'll bring you back when that's ready. Okay, well, I was just looking at everything, and uh, we're almost out of power again. I want to get another big reactor going, but I'm, I'm too uranium short. So let's go launch another rocket off into space. Um, I don't have any spare rockets. Now, what do I actually need for this thing? Iridium rod, to uranium, and a super alloy. We'll actually launch two of them. Uh, actually, let me get these things together. I'm going to actually just launch the rockets and go collect this stuff and bring you back when we're ready to go. Okay, first rocket is off. The level of sky changes like right away. And here they come. Isn't that great? We're destroying the landscape in the search of resources. Oh, that one's coming right. Oh, it's a double. Anyway, uh, we've seen this before, so I'm gonna let this do its thing, collect, its collect all the stuff, and then I'm gonna launch the other one, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And most likely but a mild case of radiation poisoning. Uh, I haven't really seen too much ha ha that I, what I've gotten. I don't think I've gotten all the um, uranium yet, because uh, it seems like the, the rocks take time to break down to loosen up the the ores, the minerals, but this is the ir iridium I have, plus what I got here. And I do have some uh, uranium, actually. I want to take all this out, because I want to see what I can make for a reactor. Or, I want to actually want to try to make two reactors if I can. I need three rods for it. What do I have? I have enough for one. Hey, it's raining, and the good kind of rain, too. Alright, what do I need for the reactor? Explosive powder. Uh, see if we can remember what that was. It was uh, magnesium and sulfur? I think we shall find out. Uh, let's check on the biomass, too. Oh, wow, that actually went up quite a bit with that second biodome. Alright, uh, explosive powder, sulfur, and iridium. I wonder if we're ever going to see lightning. I don't know, uh, sulfur, sulfur. My last two is sulfur, ooh. Let me touch and go. It's not like I got a leak in my roof. Uh, let's get run back over here. A little laggy, I'm sure the rain's got something to do with that. Uh, explosive powder. Okay, now what else do I need for this thing? I need super alloy. And water. Hmm. Water might be a problem. I will have to make some super alloy though, because we're actually right out. Uh, fortunately, I know how to make it. It's actually fairly simple. One everything. And like so, run over here. And super alloy. And then I need three bottles of water. Uh, did I have any water? Oh yeah, I got a bit over here in this chest. Okay, and one, two, three. Now I want to see if this can actually be built inside. No, it's too big to go out here inside. Darn. Mm, nah, let's put it on the roof. Why not? Uh, okay, let's head up here. It's kind of like the rain in my city. Hmm. See, I wanted to actually put it between the heaters here, but maybe we'll put it right up on the top here. Oh, uh, just for good old sake here. That's actually really big. Uh, let's put it right in the middle then. Okay, it's uh, four on the pipes. Oh, it doesn't want to go right there. So. Alright, we got more power. Yeah, it kind of makes me wonder if these things are actually generating power. It is. 
Hmm. I wonder if the devs are going to fix that. Uh, they have been talking about possibly releasing an update at the end of May. Uh, they are working on a few things that uh, more a lot of quality of life and they're talking about adding some new content. But anyways, uh, while I was uh, hitting the planet with giant asteroids, we've got the tier 4 heater. Which of course is more super alloy. And that generates a lot of heat. Uses a fair bit of energy and generates a lot of pressure too. And I think I have enough to j make two of these. So let's go ahead and make two of these. Let um, me get stuff together and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to go over to the sulfur area to get some sulfur and I was reminded but reminded by myself that I really do gotta put a miner out there. And of course this doesn't go inside. Ooh. Oh, we're going up on the roof with this thing, I think. Nice sunny day. Uh yeah, either side of the reactor, why not? Oh, that's the wrong one. Good lord, these are big. Where are you gonna go? You're gonna go right there. Well, that's a sign if I ever saw one. Place one down and the weather changes. That's yeah, not good. Uh, I just wanna try to get this kinda somewhat even. Wow, those are huge. What we're gonna take a look at. That's a scary, scary sight right there. Uh, anyway, uh, let me go check something. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just looking here, and the heat is just climbing. So we're going to be getting that tier 4 drill not too far from now. Uh, we got a long way to go for the tree, for tree spreaders, so we'll have to get some more oxygen going. I was thinking we're getting some more uh, algae generators out there, too, because they, they produce biomass and oxygen. It is power though. Uh, could use some pressure too. Um, what was the other one that we're using? Uh, the Biodome 2. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go build, plant more flowers, aren't we? But we need fertilizer. Okay, um, where are we at here? Oh, let's wait a few minutes and then. Uh, we should be ready to go with the, the next tier drill, so I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and as you can see, it's climbing really fast. Uh, I don't know what that number is, about 35,000. I'm wondering if the PK is uh, one-tenth of UK, or whatever that is. I have no idea, but tier 4 drill. Uh, what I did is I actually put a third heater up on the roof, just because... Wasn't glowing enough. I know it's too. They got like steam coming out of them, like they're giant reactors or something. Kind of makes me wonder why I don't suffer any heat damage from here. That generates a lot of heat. And as you can see, the terraformation is just cranking through. So, what do we need for this? Osmium? A lot of super alloy. Hmm. Okay, well, I gotta go gather some super alloy and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I was actually gonna make uh, two drills, into, or yeah, two drills until I realized I only have three, four osmium. So we'll have to do one. We make one. Sorry. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, uh, well, this is gonna be big. Hmm. Now, where should we put our spider friend? It's pretty big. Can I put it anywhere? I can. Hmm. Actually, I was thinking of putting it over here, to be honest. I was going to end up making some, more, making some super alloy to make a second one of these. But if I need osmium, that means I gotta go to the cave and get it. So let me get enough for two of these and I'll be right back. Okay, well I was only able to, able to find one more osmium in here that gave me a total of five. Uh, I do know I have the other work extractor I can dismantle, it's over in the aluminum area. I put this one down here, and uh, you know, I was expecting the osmium, but it says it's going to do an iron. So I don't know if this is just like a false reading, or if that's going to produce any more osmium or not. But I do have enough to actually make one, one of the tier 4 drills. And as you can see, look at that, we're almost at uh, 200 MTI. Whatever that is. Mega Terra. 
Mer Mega Terra in. There we go. Alright, uh, one more super alloy. Am I out of aluminum? No, oh, that's osmium. Never mind. One. Make sure I grabbed it because I didn't hear the click. I don't think there's actually a click. I'm hearing things I'm not supposed to be hearing, apparently. Alright, so super alloy. I always try to tab out of that, even though I should know by now that it's like an automatically exit out for me. So let's go and put our little crawler friend right down here. See if we can get you somewhat standing up straight. Oh, I'm gonna die. That would be cool if that thing would actually walk around. Hey, you notice the hill's getting nice and green too. Don't mind me, I just gotta run inside and grab some food. And apparently I can't actually use my jetpack in here, it's just a bit of a bumpy ride. Uh, oh, you're not ready, uh oh, uh oh. Much longer, 84, 84. Uh, I'm gonna have to eat an eggplant, I guess. Uh, eat one of the cabinet. They don't do much. Mushrooms do better. And hydration. It's a good thing I'm wearing a helmet, that's for sure. Uh, okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, let's go check on this thing quickly. See if this is actually producing anything besides iron, or if that's all this is going to be, is just iron. Maybe this isn't uh, uh, the osmium deposit. I think it's just going to be iron. Now, one would think this was, would be osmium, but apparently not, so that means I guess we gotta... I think there's, uh... I think there's another cave over by that big wreck behind us here. I'd have to go do a little bit of exploring, but... Uh, let's go check our stats and see where everything is. Okay, so... We're up to, almost at the 200, we got... We don't get the pulsar quartz until 600, so that's a ways to go. Uh, we get the tree spreader at 7.5 parts per million. We are a long ways away from that, which means a lot more oxygen, which means probably more algae spreaders. And then this, the fusion generator, is a long ways away too, and I believe that's what that's for. And gas extractor, which is going to be a little ways away yet, and we need that for the, I believe, the mutagen. Oh, that's right. I need this. That's why I'm not getting osmium. Hmm. Alright, well, let me uh, check the recording time here, and I'll be right back. Well, that's a bit of a shorter one, but it might go on for a little bit. I did happen to notice, too, we're actually at the moss stage now. We're generating flora. So, maybe, let's go take a little, little, uh, a little look around and see what's changed. Because, I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a lot of green around here. And this is just something else. I guess that's something I could do, is get some more algae generators going. Need the bioplastic for that, though. I was going to do seeds. I have... Fertilizer. What was the fertilizer again? I believe that was... Sulfur? Yeah, maybe we'll go spread some more flowers. Let me go check on that. Okay, well, what I think we're going to do to end this episode, uh, I didn't actually realize I had uh, Tier 2's flowers better unlocked from the... The bio lab. So we'll go ahead and uh, build that now. Did I not have another golden seed? I don't think I did. Uh, that's probably the best that I got the 450. So we'll take that. Uh, oh yeah, I need the the algae. I gotta. Oh, I have the fertilizer. Never mind. Aha. So I should be able to build it. Except for the water balls that I can grab outside. And... Oh no. I'm lost. Seriously, I'm... Oh yeah, okay. No, that's bad. I know that my, my base isn't that big, but I did get lost. And what was I doing again? Water. Yes, water. My base is just humming along. Okay, I got that. Okay, we are good. Uh, where do I want to put some flowers? Hmm. I'm gonna maybe let's go get a nice little patch of flowers up in the hill here. 
So the next time I call on some ash, some meteors that can go and impact it. So I can avoid my base. I wonder if that's actually gonna work on the hill now. Hmm. We'll put it down here then. Uh -huh. Sure. I'll just assume it works. Oh, that grows pretty fast. Cool. And how much oxygen? 1.46 per trillion. Interesting. Well, anyways, let's uh, go take a quick peek around. Now, I know there's some uranium down here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. See, as those rocks is it, uh, disappear, they leave behind little little chunks of goodies. So let's go see how far my influence is st stretched. Fortunately, I have little resupply hubs everywhere, so I can go and grab some oxygen. But I know this is cool. There's like a river going through here. That's pretty cool. A lot of green, a miner I might have to dismantle one of these days. We haven't really explored this biome too much. Whatever's over here. Oh, this would be the uranium biome, I guess. Actually, it's hard to tell. I mean, it's so much around here. I guess this is still part of the aluminum. Uh, hydra hydration's getting low. Uh, let me top up my vitals and we'll go, we'll go look over in the other direction. Actually, what we'll do... Let's go up this way. Actually, I want to see what's up over here. I don't think I've ever been up this this direction yet. Now, I'm uh, one of the things I was started to wonder when I started seeing this. Ooh, what's in here? Sure, why not? Actually, I'm hungry. Found someone's lunch. It's always a good thing. Uh, Oh yeah, I was, when I started seeing the, the green patches don't showing up, I started wondering if maybe if maybe grass was going to start growing on its own up here, or if I actually have to have like the the grass spreaders and the flower spreaders. This just takes me up here. Hmm. Oh, is that a cave? No. Not got a little hopeful on that one. Same there. Uh, you can tell I was here. Ooh, sulfur. Take that, nah, nah. I'll take everything except the squash sheets. Cause I don't need them. Nah, I don't think there's anything else over here. But we're into the flora stage, so theoretically we should start being seen uh, plants grow naturally. I'm sure there's a lot of things here I'm missing. Well, hidden nooks and crannies and secrets and stuff. I like this golden chest. Hey! Speaking of golden seed, I'll take everything, thank you. Uh, actually, we'll have to drop the iron because I want the super alloy from the chest. Cool. No, I had no idea that was her. That was just a uh, lucky guess. And I have explored this thing already, and I didn't seem to find too much. It might have been something else I missed because there's like stuff scattered all over the place. There was a chest here, but I don't think there's. I don't think there was actually anything in here. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Quickly skim into this and nothing. Nothing important. I have been in there already. Okay. And I don't think there was actually anything else on this thing. If there was, I probably missed it, and I'll miss it again and again and again. And that's about it, except for this box over here. Which I haven't got the room for for anything, anyways. Not that there's anything good in there. 
Okay, well, let me find my recharge station and we'll go check out another spot, maybe over by the big crasher, and then probably call it there. Okay, I'm just up at the ring here. Not much has changed here. There's a little bit of green in the distance, but it's still kind of red and sandy here. Hey! See my outpost from here. But like I said, I do see some green over there. And I think if we go this way, should take us to the, the big wreck. Or maybe not. That was weird, I thought I was somewhere I've never been before. And it finally drew in. Is this a meteor shower or is this just a normal storm? It's just a normal storm. Well, I appear to be lost. Let me get my bearings and I'll be right back. Okay, I was actually going in the right direction. I thought maybe I was getting lost, but I did have to go around a little bit. But here we are up here, and not much has changed up here. It's still about the same. Uh, I wanted to have a look through these caves again, because I know there's one. Where does that go? Oh, wait, I think that goes to the sulfur area. But uh, by the way, I did move, uh, move that mine over to the sulfur area just to try to get that going, but... Let's see what we got over here. See if there's anything interesting. I think there was a... Uh, yeah, there was this thing. But I th could have sworn I was a second cave over here. And there's all this area here too. And I haven't really explored too much of that. Uh, I should have a shelter here somewhere. I was venturing out here the other day. Yeah, right there. In fact... Is there actually anything over there? No, there isn't. Hmm. So I'll take a quick peek up the mountain. And then uh, probably head back to the base and call it an episode. I haven't really explored too, too much. Uh, there's really no point in exploring right now because I have absolutely no inventory space. This water almost looks good enough to drink. Too bad it's a video game. Alright, let's see what's up here. Not too much. I have no idea what's up there. Uh, never gone behind here yet. And it doesn't look like it's anything at all. Might find another golden chest that I can't do anything about. Oh, I'm in no man's land. <laughs> I actually like that, it's a very good mechanic. Go somewhere you're not supposed to and a storm rolls in. Let's go take one quick peek up here. I gotta admit, I actually do like this jetpack. It's not like a jetpack jetpack, but it helps you go up nice steep hills. I can't remember if I've been in all these. I probably have. I don't need the microchip because... Nothing to unlock right now. And I see Stonehenge. And... A very ominous looking hole in a rock. Check this out quickly. Who would have thought there would have been a chest here? Not me. Oh. Uh, hydration. Sure. I need the inventory space anyways. We'll dump that in there. Uh, don't really need the cobalt because the stuff is so common. Take that, that. Super alloy I need. I don't need that because, like I said, nothing to unlock. And I thought that was another chest. Oh. What is going on here? Ooh. Is that all this is? It's just a storage cache? No fake walls, no nothing. Well, that's cool. Hmm, I'll have to remember this spot. Because I'm about to, <laughs> about to run out of oxygen. But, uh, yeah, let me uh, do a quick cut here and I'll meet you back at the base. 
Ah, the home sweet home. And it just goes to show it does actually pay to go exploring because I had absolutely no idea that was out there. I didn't know, didn't even know it was there until I actually got there and was going for that chest and we got a whole bunch of good good stuff when I hit the right button. I uh, got another rocket engine, got some bunch of uranium rods, uh, or iridium rods, iridium, uranium, yada yada yada. Another golden seed, so that's not 600%. We got another effigy too. I don't know how many of these there are, but that's why I kind of put this here, because I was going to start a collection. And I think we'll just do that for now. Uh, I do know there is a display case. In fact, let's actually build that thing, just because. Because that's what it's for. Hmm. Now, where to put it? Let's put it right here. Oh! Ooh, I like that. Interesting. That's cool. Very cool. That looks so wrong. But, I think with that, let's go check our progress. See how things are going. Um, heat's climbing pretty good. Oxygen is uh, the terraformation is just flying in through. Uh, oxygen's climbing and pressure is slowly building. We don't need this really until we start getting into. Uh, I think that's what we, we need. The, we need it for the mutagen, but that's still a ways away. But with that, I think we're gonna call it an episode. I'm just trying to stupid I stupid idea of putting that there. But that's why I have this nice big lookout over here. I kind of wonder if my base would have been fully underwater by now. I kind of wonder if it's airtight. Look how green that is. Wow. Actually, what's really interesting about this game is watching the world around you change as you play. Because uh, the more work you put into it, the faster it changes. Because it's all about that terraformation and index up on the top right. But anyways, I think we're going to call it here. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.